Let's take a look at how to send an invoice so you can receive payment by using the invoice function inside of the Stripe dashboard and no coding is required. This video is part of the Stripe payment processing tutorial, so be sure to check out that Stripe tutorials playlist that's linked in the description and on the screen. Stripe invoicing is pretty simple to use and the invoice generator allows for easy customizations right from your dashboard. And as I mentioned, there's no code required to use this feature that I'm gonna show you today. So all you need to do is log into your Stripe account and then find the create button right in the main menu at the top and click for the drop down menu. Select Select the invoice option with your mouse or by using the hotkeys of C and I in order to automatically launch the invoice generator. As with the other three dashboard options that I've covered, being subscriptions, payment links, and the virtual terminal or dashboard payments as it's known within Stripe, you can select the customer that you've already added to your Stripe account. If you don't have any customers added yet, there's two ways to add them. Number one is just by clicking the add customer right here this button right here and entering the customer data into the light box that pops up. The second option is from the main menu of your Stripe account before you get into the invoice editor, click the customers tab and the add customer button and fill in the customer info right there. Coming back over to the invoice editing screen, once your customer is selected, click the items box and add a product from your previously stored product list. Once again, if you don't have any products yet, just add it right here by clicking the button, add it in the light box or as shown in my other Stripe tutorials. Or from the main menu, you can click on the products tab and add it right there. Back to the invoice editor. Once you've selected your product, you can click the item options box and select a tax or add an item coupon if you'd like. This will auto apply the coupon to the product so the customer does not have to enter it in order to receive the discount. It is automatically added. If you wanna add multiple products to your invoice, you can do that and all you need to do is just click the add item and repeat the process for as many products as you wanna add. Once all your products are set, you have the option to add additional coupons to the entire order if you want. And it's important to note here that there is of course a difference between adding a coupon code to a single item or to the entire order. It's always a good idea to double check your totals under the preview screen off to the right and you can double check for example if you have added a total invoice option that will apply to the entire invoice it'll give you a subtotal prior to the global coupon being added as shown right here. So the point is you can double check whether you have a single coupon that's added to a single item or whether whether you have a coupon that's added to the entire invoice. Next, you can send the invoice and automatically charge a payment method on file by checking this radio button here, or you can email the invoice to the customer with the link, and you'll notice that the big blue button right over here that says pay this invoice will show up in the email tab preview screen that's sent out to the customer, you know, if you select this option. If, however, you wanted to email without the payment link, the payment preview page will disappear and you'll collect payments another way. You could also choose to send the invoice link manually. Under the payment options, you can add or remove the options that you want. Card is to give your customers the ability to pay the invoice with a credit and or debit card. ACH transfer is wiring instructions to initiate an outgoing ACH or wire transfer from bank to bank. And the ACH direct debit is where the customer can type their bank account number directly Directly into the payment page and make their payment that way. So if you want to add or remove those options, you can just click on the X to remove it or the drop down menu to add it back. Under the advanced options, you can add custom fields to the invoice columns and you can choose to include or exclude the tax in your invoice. Finally, you can include a footer note if you want to add any additional notes like you would in the memo line of a check, for example, and you're ready to go. You've seen the preview screen over here to the right and before you send it out I always recommend checking the fields on the email tab and the invoice tab to make sure that everything looks correct. There is a preview of the PDF version of the invoice and there's also a payment page tab which is what your customer sees when they click the big blue pay this invoice button as shown in the email tab of the preview. So it gives you all of the options to see the payment pages or the invoice email that your customer sees that's all related to the invoice that you're creating right now. And finally you 
you can do further customizations of the invoice and the emails that are sent out related to the invoice by clicking the branding settings page as shown here. You can modify the accent colors and the brand colors of the invoice, add your company logo and icon and make different changes as shown here to the invoices that you create. Once you have everything correct and set up the way that you want it, you can click the confirm button to send the invoice. And as noted here on the screen, invoices can't be edited after they've been paid. So it's best of course to have everything correct the first time that you're gonna send it out to your customer, but you can make edits to the invoice even after you click to send invoice because after you do that, you're taken to the invoice details page and you can make those edits if necessary. The customer automatically receives an email with the invoice and the notice to pay and this is what the email looks like, again, that your customer gets in their inbox. As noted before, if they click on this big blue pay this invoice button, it launches the payment page for them to settle up the invoice with the payment options that you've chosen to allow. Back on the details page of the invoice, you have a couple of options to edit. You can add an internal note for yourself. You can edit the invoice itself, which if you click, it takes you to the editor window again and creates a draft of the new invoice that you'll be required to send out to your customer again because you're making updates to the invoice. Once you do that, it voids the old invoice, logs it in your history, and creates a new open invoice with the new edits that you just made and the modifications that you selected. Another option is that you can resend the email of the invoice to your customer and or you can add additional people that need to receive this invoice. You can also charge the customer with a card on file and and if you choose to do this, it's a version of using the Stripe virtual terminal and you'll want to be sure to check out the restrictions for using the virtual terminal as posted by Stripe support themselves. I covered that in the dashboard virtual terminal video and that video is linked in the description for you to watch. Once the customer pays the invoice, again, it'll become logged in your invoices history and no edits will be able to be made once it's either logged or modified. All of the invoices are logged in the payments tab and the invoices sub tab or you can click the more tab and go directly there by just clicking the invoices button and you can sort with the sub tab between all invoices drafts outstanding past due and paid again you can click into any of these invoices again and it'll take you right back to the details page that we just covered so that's the overview of the stripe invoice from the dashboard function the no code option so all you need is a stripe account in order to be able to execute exactly as i've shown here in this uh, Stripe invoice tutorial. So if everything is set up correctly, you should be able to just log in and, and get started creating invoices for yourself. If you like this video, be sure to check out again the other Stripe tutorials that are, are linked up in the playlist that I have in the description of this, this video on the end screen and, and linked periodically throughout this video too. If you learned something new, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you receive notifications when I post new videos just like this one. I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you on the next one.